Okay. Okay. Girl. I got some catching up to do with y'all and catch y'all up on some stuff with me. Y'all, when I tell y'all I am just simply happy to be smiling today. <laughs> I gotta fill y'all in. Y'all, watch this intro right quick and then I'm gonna fill y'all in. <laughs> Thank y'all for popping in here too, by the way. Y'all, it's been about a cool month since I really have vlogged my life. It was a lot going on, y'all. A lot going on. Today is Saturday, March 16th. My cousin's B-Day. Happy birthday, Wade. Uh, I had two cousins birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Wendy and BB. Shout outs. Okay, so, but back to, let me, hold on, y'all. Sorry. So, we on our way to get my nails done today, this morning, y'all, because in real time it's been about a, like a month i think or so since i really have vlogged i do have an old vlog that i'm probably gonna put up way late because i think i want to post this vlog but anyway so i'm going to get my nails done i pretty much only had my press ons for like a couple weeks or so and then when i was going to put on some new press ons it just you know didn't really work itself out for that so my nails looking a hot mess don't get up on them you don't want to <laughs> i promise you you don't but so i'm gonna go and get my nails done and then i gotta catch you guys up on some things some decisions we are in the third quarter of the year all, i mean well first quarter not third there i go we're in the first quarter three months in and i feel like some goals that i set have just not materialized because it was a lot going on it's just a lot going on hold on we're gonna go to a new spot to get my nails done today y'all so stick around hold on y'all okay so why are we waiting on this light to change real quick so yeah changes y'all things have happened and transpired in my life and the reason why i'm so happy to be smiling is because for one let me catch you all up on this right quick i am no longer at the last job that i was at because that was just straight up a pressure cooker i enjoy my team i loved my team that worked up under me that um my subordinates my colleagues um just because i'm supervising them does not make them not my colleagues i'm still my colleagues when you're a supervisor all please don't look at people like they're beneath you because they're not those are your colleagues but anyway so um oh light change hold on but I cannot work in a pressure cooker job. I just cannot work in a pressure cooker job. And that job was a pressure cooker. Every time you turned around from the time I got there to the time I left, oh my God, you guys, it was crisis all day, every day. Crisis, crisis. And that is not what was promoted. I wouldn't even, even apply for that job if I would have known it was this much crisis work. Not a lot of strategic planning. I don't want to harp on it too much, but it was a lot going on that could have been better at the job. Lack of um, training, the support wane it just if you needed support i mean i guess i think they were there but they were there but it wasn't consistent like if you didn't need them and you know it was a little bit of downtime or whatever it just i don't know it was just a lot going on like the last job pretty much the supervisor the leadership i couldn't take this job was the actual work functions it was just mm -mm. so i was pretty much brought in because um the supervisor they needed a supervisor pretty much and um somebody did support and and lead the team and build the team well this particular team they were wonderful they knew their stuff super professional um hold on i'm driving again y'all hold on and i all i can say is i couldn't have asked for a better team and if I could have taken them with me somewhere, I would have on my next endeavor and journey. <laughs> so, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better team, you guys. I really, really couldn't. It was just the work. I could not with the work. Crisis, like I said, all day, every day. It was just ridiculous to the point where, like, from the time I get there to the time I leave, I got these three computers in front of me, like a special ops. Uh, it's just too much going on. And it's like, why? I, I get it, but you know I, I can't go into the nature of the job because you guys know the kind of work that i do super confidential um working with others and all that kind of a thing or whatever so but anyway i had to get out of there bottom line so that is why i'm smiling because yesterday was my last day um and i got some new stuff on the horizons i'll update y'all on that pretty soon but yeah that job I had to go because i have looked up plenty of days i was there and i noticed i haven't even got up to go and pee really make it make sense this should not be like that i mean come on all day every day really mm -mm, no not me 
so okay you guys i made it to this nail spot um i this will be my first time going here so hopefully they take walk-ins because a lot of times around here you got to make an appointment so hopefully i can get my nails done but i'm so super well i'll do that when i get back because this right here mm -mm, these nails well i had some blue polish on and that polish stains my nails so we gotta go get that taken care of but anyway you guys so stay tuned i'll be right back I'm going to give y'all a little bit of B-roll or whatever so so um, I can chop it up with y'all in a minute because I got some more life to updates and they pretty much have already gotten the ball rolling. Well, not they, but I have gotten the ball rolling with some of these new life goals. So I'm going to catch you guys up on some more, but shout me out. Let me know what, how y'all feel. Would y'all, you know, stay at a job that, you know, you're really not happy. It's no job satisfaction. Um, and the work is just super duper crisis work, putting out fires. Stop that, putting out that fire, go over there, put out that fire. Stop picking that cotton, go over there, pick that cotton. Like, and it's all crisis work and it's all dealing with other people's lives who don't really deserve to be caught in the middle of the, you know, uh, okay. Stay tuned. Just like a friend, my nails. I had polish on today. It was new polish and it's painted nails. That's what I want. Jill and Shellac. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so got my nails done. That's that on that. They get a 10 out of 10. They were pretty good. I like the whole atmosphere was clean in there. That's one thing that's always a thumbs up and a plus. Um, and they did my nails exactly how I wanted them. And or wanted them. <laughs> how I wanted them. And not just doing what they want to do. Because sometimes they tend to do that. These people. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all in there. Sorry about my little hands and y'all all up in your face. Sorry. <laughs> y'all, I noticed that the last time I, not the last time, but probably the last, one of the last times that I posted a vlog. Seemed like I got on the same head and hookup. But I promise y'all, I didn't change my clothes and wore other things since the last time that I posted a vlog. Y'all, let's head to the Aldi and then I'm still going to, continue to update you guys and let you know about some of the goals that I have set and some changes that are going on here on just vlogging life and now I can <laughs> y'all so yeah stick around hold on recently decided that instead of going on like a health kick kind of thing where I'm like kicking things out of my diet and all that stuff which I don't want to do and have not done um I decided to stop eating so junky eating less junky and getting more fruits and vegetables in because I feel like I don't get enough of my fruits and vegetables in like I should and so far so good I think that I'm doing really well stripping the sugars out of my diet out of my palate and things of that nature so let me keep paying because I'm in the line and I'll talk to you guys when I get in a car hold on one second oh, oh junky so just when I was not eating junky look who's out here getting me <laughs> getting me <laughs> and she says she's sorry uh oh sorry not sorry <laughs> right right thank you Okay, you guys. Ooh. Okay, so just so happened as I'm telling you guys that I am eating less junk. <laughs> the little Girl Scout cookies girl got me. <laughs> but one of them is actually for hubby. So he will have the Thin Mints and I will have the lemon 
lemon ups or lemonades or lemon somebody's but yeah but i i really wanted to support i will do my best to um intermittently eat those and not just in one sitting however like i said your girl has been doing really really well because i can actually see a difference in my clothes not that i'm on a weight loss kick or anything but i really wanted to incorporate more of the fruits and vegetables back into my diet i feel like i could do better with that i feel like i have been doing my best with it and so i feel like i want to be more intentional and like i was sharing with my really really close close bestie um basically like my sister <laughs> and um i was sharing with her that what i've been doing that's been helping me is like if i have say a bag of chips or even if i have like some cookies um and i know that i have like my mandarin oranges or an apple there what i will do is assess like which one's going to give me the most hydration because that's what i'm looking for more hydration less sugar um but definitely more hydration and more of my natural vitamins and to get my sugars my natural sugars from my fruits and vegetables and the hydration and my natural vitamins like the natural um vitamin that you would normally get from your fruits and vegetables if that makes sense i hope that makes sense so that is a part of my um journey if you will i don't really want to name it a journey i really want it to be more like a lifestyle i'm not trying to really just be on a health kick or anything i mean it's kind of sort of like it'll naturally like it's a natural response if you're eating less junk food and eating less junk if you're eating more healthy it's gonna naturally be a, like a natural thing but i'm not calling it a healthy journey or a health kick or anything it's more or less just kicking the junk out of my diet as much as i possibly can eating less junky because your girl can't eat junky y'all y'all might not know that about me <laughs> but then again you might <laughs> because i love chips i love candy pop soda whatever you call it carbonated drinks i love all that stuff y'all and but I, it's not healthy for me i'm getting too old for all that i'm getting older and so i have to be more mindful to kick out the junk like but i love me some junk food i love me some wreck some candy candy like candy <laughs> but it's not good for me it's not healthy for me and it's it's junky and i'm trying to eat less junky so that is one of my goals on top of just my overall wellness well-being my happiness like i said kicking that job out of my life <laughs> hey it is what it is um so yeah let me get on home it's getting hot in here and i need to turn on the car and turn on the air hold on y'all yeah so got these for the hubby you guys got these for me for later 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 days later so the veggies ran me $26.80 $26.87 hubby has the tv up extremely loud sorry about that okay so turn the tv down there for a minute but this is my little grocery haul and i think that i'm gonna get the most hydration out of my fruits and veggies that i purchased i also got me some oj orange juice i've been on the orange juice kick only because orange juice helps metabolize um my iron supplement that i take and i feel like i'm just gonna get the most hydration out of these items here not these <laughs> but these items here okay so this is carla just vlogging life you guys i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you for hanging out with me and uh yeah stopping by and checking on your girl giving us a thumbs up please give us a thumb please give us a thumbs up subscribe set your bell to all that way you don't miss anytime we upload and post here on this channel hubby are you coming to get, get in this vlog today at all Should are you gonna make a cameo y'all want to y'all want him to make a cameo here he comes there you go <laughs> nowadays you gotta wait and see if you can get in this here vlog just a little bit you want to get in the vlog you no, just in the vlog baby assuming you can own the vlog <laughs> You gotta do a heat check. You know, you were always Carla. either working or gone when check I'm vlogging Carla or something like that. And you see. Y'all, usually he is presence. working or not at home or gone. Thank you for allowing me to be on the vlog. 
You're welcome. You. You're welcome. You. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not worthy. I'm You're not worthy. worthy. I thank you for letting me get on the vlog. Just vlogging life. Hit that like, hit that bell, and let's go. <laughs> we are about to get out of here. We have to make a couple of runs. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Like I said, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for always supporting us and showing us love. Again, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Say your bell to all. That way you know every time we post here on this channel. And this girl is just like y'all. Peace.